The greenhouse portion of this class has been something of a special experience for me. From planting our seeds to watching our plants fully grow, it has been a very fun and eye-opening experience to know how much goes into producing plants for production and sale. I feel like I've learned a lot from the short time we've had this semester, and that comes out really through the final product of my plants. As you can see here, this is how they turned out. And I would say they all turned out pretty well, being that they're all alive, and it definitely could have been worse. I'm going to start with my biggest struggle in growing all of the plants this semester, and that has been the location I chose. Now it might not have been smart to choose the most difficult bench out of the entire greenhouse from the get-go, but I did. I really did it just to see how well I could do, and it definitely tested me, but as you can see, my plants are alive. That brings me to my first main plant issue that I had this entire time. And that was wilting and not having enough water and all of the issues that come with my bench being the hottest. With this heat, water loss happens a lot faster and so does transpiration through the plants. Other than the benefit I might get on a cold day, all really warm days my bench started really suffering, especially the perennials and annuals. So what I learned from that experience is how extremely important scouting is, as well as keeping up with the routine. Because it is better to prevent problems than having to deal with them, but sometimes you can't prevent everything. When you have a routine, at least you go back and check and you can go, hey, that's not supposed to look like that. The next big topic I would like to go into is the plants themselves. We grow a multitude of different plants and I would like to group them into a few distinct sections. Succulents and seeds, annuals, perennials, and the Gerber daisies and poinsettias. Now, I grouped them into these sections because of how much care they needed and what specific needs they had. The succulents were my easiest, because I love houseplants. So I think they turned out the best out of all of my plants because of how much experience I had growing them. Now, for the seedlings, which were monsteras and herbs. In this group, the biggest challenge was making sure they were watered and pests, at least on the herbs. In the past, there were these little black flies that I believed to be fungus gnats that infected my herbs from basically the get-go. But fortunately, they didn't cause much of a problem to the plants, and they left once I cut back on watering. The second problem, which is a recurring theme on my bench, is just water loss. The herbs wilted really quickly once they reached seedling stage, and that required more regular watering. Before this though, the seeds gave me an extra issue, and that really was my own fault, and it was because I watered too hard and I would lose some seeds. And it made a mess. Eventually, I had to adjust my watering style, and I believe that's made me a better waterer. Other than that, all of these seeds grew pretty readily, despite the seemingly poor state that the monstera seeds arrived in. Next is the annuals. In this group, I have the pansies, ornamental lettuce, and kale, as well as the African violets. These were an interesting group for my extremely hot bench, since they dried out quickly and would flower very often. The drying and flowering happened way quicker than I wanted, and I was constantly watering and pinching them, to my own detriment. They wasted a lot of my time. I ended up spacing them on my bench accordingly, and I tried to find the coldest parts of my bench, and once I did that, everything went a little smoother. I tried to group them up with other plants as well, to keep humidity up. This was the one peeve I had with the trace we were using, since it would have been much easier if they had been transplanted sooner, but only so much you can do. Next is the perennials. These plants required a much lower amount of work for me than the others. They were much easier to work with, and while they still suffered from the hot bench environment, they didn't show signs as fast and were much less stressful to work with. I'm also really used to working with perennials since I have a lot of them at home. Finally, we have the two most important plants for the class, the poinsettias and Gerber daisies. Starting out, we treated them very differently, with the Gerber daisies getting a lower fertilizer concentration than the poinsettias. But eventually, we noticed this couldn't stay the case. The Gerber daisies were not getting enough nutrients and needed a little boost. This little boost ended up being the rest of the semester. The Gerber daisies loved the higher concentration of nutrients, which was the same one we were using for the poinsettias. And it worked out as the Gerber daisies ended up looking much fuller and greener than they were with the lower concentration. The poinsettias were tricky because of pests, and that's really the start and end to it. The poinsettias needed multiple pesticides, sticky traps, but still ended up with various infestations. This really increased my scouting requirements and became kind of a pain after a while. 
Fortunately though, watering them wasn't a huge deal and pinching wasn't a huge deal either. Although I do wish the shape of my poinsettias would have turned out a little better than it did. The end products of all of these plants ended up looking really, really good. I would say the thing I'm most happy about is the fact that I didn't have any plants die. And that's not something that's easy to do. Despite my poor choice in bench, partially on purpose and partially not, this class proved to me that I can grow plants in any situation I'm given. But this class also taught me flexibility, and that's the most important lesson I was able to learn.